Reverse Mortgage Works presents Living Better. Brought to you by Carlos King Interior Design and Bobby Botina's Mexican and American Grill. A healthier lifestyle lets you live a longer, happier life. I'm Lori Larson. Let's get started Living Better. Featuring Dr. Joseph Scherger, Eisenhower family physician and owner and medical director of Restore Health Disease Reversal. And the only way you're gonna lose weight is to become a fat burner. So every time we've successfully lost weight, we've become ketogenic. And featuring Chef David Horgan, creative executive chef at PS Underground. You're gonna do some butter lettuce cups and then do some ground turkey and fill that with a few other uh, fillings and make a nice sauce for it mm. and some nice toppings. Also featuring Arnell Sater from Perfectly Fit, who will help you reach your fitness goals. Have you done some exercises today? I'm gonna to show you some easy and quick and fun ways to get started. Enjoy your life living better. We're talking today about the ketogenic lifestyle. One question is, what is the ketogenic lifestyle? And the second is, how do we do it? Thank you, Lori. I'm delighted to explain it because there is a lot of confusion. The word ketogenic means you're burning fat, plain and simple. And the only way you're gonna lose weight is to become a fat burner. So every time we've successfully lost weight, we've become ketogenic. Ketone bodies are the breakdown of fat. They make us feel good when our, when our bloodstream is full of ketones instead of a lot of blood sugar. We usually feel very good. So it's all about becoming a fat burner. And the only way fat leaves your body is you have to burn it. It won't evaporate, it won't go away any other way. Now to do this new lifestyle, the science today has put it into a neat formula of four things. The first is very low carbohydrates because your body will always have to burn the carbs first. Carbs are the other energy food. So in order to become a fat burner, you need, to, you need to be very low carbohydrate, low in any breads or flour foods, low in any sweets and alcohol. You can't lose weight if you're drinking two or more drinks a day. So, so those are kind of the common reasons people have too much carbohydrate. The, the second part of the formula is getting adequate protein. Uh, you should have protein at every meal. Now, you don't want to have too much protein, and that's why I said adequate protein, not high protein. Because of all the protein you might eat that you don't need gets turned into sugar. So protein powders or high protein drinks is just an indirect way of getting more sugar. Oh, so what kind of healthy proteins would you recommend? Well, I always recommend getting it from natural foods. Uh, their nuts and seeds are full of protein. Other good quality vegetables have protein, the green, leafy, and cruciferous. But most of your protein are gonna come from eggs, healthy meat, healthy fish. All of those are filled with protein that's very healthy for your body. And then how do you know how much of it to eat? Well, it's a great question. The simple rule is have protein at every meal, a reasonable amount. So, you know, a petite filet is plenty of protein. You know, two eggs a day are plenty of protein for most people. I mean, these in complement with each other. A normal helping of salmon or other fish are gonna be adequate protein with whatever vegetable you're gonna have with it. So, on this diet, you're not very hungry because carbs drive the hunger. So the first magical thing that ha happens to you when you become very low carb is you go, oh my gosh, I'm never hungry anymore. There's no more of that four o'clock, I'm craving a muffin or something like that. Right, because when most people think, oh, I have to restrict calories to go on a diet, they end up getting so hungry, they end up eating everything yeah. in the cupboard when they get home. Protein and fat with every meal prevents hunger. Hi, Mark Anthony with Reverse Mortgage Work. Do you like to join thousands of people living better with the all new lower cost reverse or retirement mortgage? We don't have a celebrity spokesman. We're local, licensed, certified professionals. Call to receive your free quote and learn about a retirement mortgage today. Bobby Botinas. 
Mexican and American Grill. Coming soon to the River in Rancho Mirage. Lunch, happy hour, dinner, and evening entertainment. Bobby Botinas, coming soon to the River in Rancho Mirage. Hello, I'm Carlos King. My passion is designing fabulous homes. I work closely with my clients to achieve the look and feel that matches their vision. My greatest satisfaction is the wow factor when my clients see our finished project. Let me translate your dreams into a visual reality. Call me at 760-880-9987. Dr. Joe Sugar is going to tell us how to live a longer, healthier life. Restore Health is a personalized health service that will help you get back to living better. We work closely with you to create a lifestyle plan that best suits your goals and needs through better nutrition, exercise, sleep, and other factors. So, when you choose to restore your health, give us a call. Welcome to Desert Outreach Synagogue, the voice of the valley. Place called home to anyone who needs one. A place of incredible music, community, conversation, and connection. Come join us. You already belong. Let's talk about healthy fats, because a lot of people think, well, I didn't think fat was good for you. Yeah. Healthy fats are the fats that are in nuts and seeds and avocados and eggs and quality meat and fish. So you can easily see, gosh, all of those foods I, I eat and I can eat them at different parts of the day. Are, is there a difference in the oils that you eat? Are there healthy oils and unhealthy oils? Absolutely. Processed oils, vegetable oils like canola and safflower and these various oils are unhealthy. They're actually inflammatory, and we'll talk more about that uh, later uh, in another segment. The healthy oils are tree oils. So if it grew on a tree, it's healthy. Uh, mm -hmm. That really is olive oil is the most common, and uh, get good quality olive oil. Coconut oil is healthy fats, contrary to what some people might say. Avocado oil uh, is a healthy oil also. Uh, sesame oil, things from seeds are healthy oils because nuts and seeds are healthy fats. And those fats can actually reduce inflammation in the body, is That's that true? That's correct. That's correct. And they also prevent appetite. You, you feel like you're eating rich, but you're actually eating fewer calories. The fourth part is time-restricted eating. We're not meant to eat all day. The word breakfast means break fast, for example. And we know from science on our circadian body rhythms is that we must not eat at least 12 hours a day minimum. So every day I'm well aware of that 12 hour mark before I should start eating. That is when I stopped eating in the evening and when I might consider eating in the morning. And for every hour beyond the 12 hours that you fast, you get 50% more benefit. Wow. So if you really want to be a fat burner and lose weight, you'll go, for example, two meals a day in an eight hour period and have time and be not eating, stay hydrated, but not eating for 16 hours a day. So your intake, for example, can be from 11 in the morning to seven at night or noon to eight. And I find people, especially retired people, that becomes very easy. And they're out there taking a walk. You don't need to eat before you exercise. If you exercise while you're fasting, but you do get hydrated, you'll find that you feel really good out there doing your walk or whatever exercise you want. There's no calories in coffee or tea. So you can also, besides water, because a lot of us wake up uh, with our body saying, time for a cup of coffee. Right. Have the coffee. No sweetener of any kind. Uh -huh. If you need to buffer the coffee with a little bit of dairy fat, like half and half, that's okay. But keep it to a minimum because you don't want to break your fast. How do you get started 
finding the foods that are actually good for this way of eating. Well, the first thing you need to do, Lori, is to detox from carbohydrates. They're addicting. And when you detox yourself from your addiction to carbs, you may go through seven to 10 days of not always feeling the best. It's known as the keto flu or the Atkins flu. And you need to be ready for that. You can treat it by being very well hydrated and getting some salt in your, in your system and that'll buffer it. But becoming low carb is really the important first step and to get over that hump. Once you accomplish that, you're gonna feel great and you'll never wanna go back to those carbs that you used to eat a lot of. But do that first, that'll set you up for the formula. Well, that's great. I am really excited about the upcoming episodes where we get to learn more about living a healthy life. Well, I am too, Lori. I'm so excited to share more of this great healthy living information with people. Chef Dave! Hey! Hi! Hi! Wow, this looks like a recipe for living better. <laughs> I would say so. What are we cooking? So I've got some uh, butter lettuce. We're going to do some butter lettuce cups and then do some ground turkey and fill that with a few other uh, fillings and make a nice sauce for it mm. and some nice toppings. It looks incredible. I'm excited to get started. All right, so let's go. I'm just chopping a little cilantro that's going to go on our dressing here. Okay. But first, let's start on our filling and then we'll move on to the dressing. So I've got a pan heating here on the stove. And this is about a pound of ground turkey. Mm. So I'm just going to do a little pan spray. I love the ground turkey. It's so versatile. Yeah. You can really use it in anything. You do all kinds of different dishes with it. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to put in about a half of an onion, mm -hmm. a little diced yellow onion. And then break that up, kind of mix it a little bit and get it frying. And then I'm just going to throw a little salt and pepper in there as well, just for seasoning and let it cook for a while till it's browned. It's about a tablespoon of salt and a little dash of pepper, maybe a teaspoon or two. And while that's cooking, uh, let's do our dressing. So mm. I was gonna do some fresh ginger in there. Ooh. We've got ginger root. So really, you can peel Shall it with I? a, yeah, go ahead with a, just a regular potato peeler works great for it. And you just get the outside off. I love fresh ginger. I know, me too. It's really great. It aids in digestion and it's an anti-inflammatory. Oh really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great. It's great when you can flavor something up and it's yes. so, it does such a great job of that. It tastes great and it's yeah. really good for you as well. It has health benefits. I agree. So I'm just gonna chop the end off and then we're gonna take this and just, I'm using a little microplane here, a grater, or you can run it through a little food processor or whatever you've got at home. Did you use just a regular cheese grater, is that? Uh, you could, just use the fine setting on it. Okay. And it starts to come off like that. So now, for our dressing, uh, I've got some tamari sauce. I'm using that because it's gluten-free. Okay, so, But Great. you can still get the flavor. So if you want to start with the ingredients, maybe sure. the tamari, just pour that in there. And a little raw garlic. Raw garlic, one of my favorites. Yep. That's really gonna add some flavor to that. Mm -hmm. uh, and then a little touch of the rice vinegar. So we've got our acid component in the dressing. And now that is uh, sesame oil. A little sesame toasted oil. sesame oil. One of the good fats. Exactly. And then because we've got the acidic and the other uh, savory flavorings, you want a little sweet component mm -hmm. to it to balance out the vinegar. So this is uh, a little agave syrup. Great. So you just kind of pour that in as you like. Mix it together till it's all incorporated, mm. and that can go to the side. Almost an Asian flavor with that? Yeah, kind of going in an Asian direction. You could do all kinds of different seasonings, just depends on what you like. And then, oh, last but not least, we can't forget our raw ginger. I'm gonna do a little more, just because that mm. smells so good. Putting together the sesame oil and the ginger mm -hmm. is just the best. A little bit more, what the heck. And just let that sit. That smell good. Mm. <laughs> now I'm just gonna check our turkey, it's starting to cook pretty well. Getting a little bit of brown on there too. Yeah, the onions are browning really nicely. Yeah. As soon as the onions are soft and the turkey's cooked through, then it's done. Okay. It's almost there. 
Welcome to Gelato Granucci, the little shop with the big flavors. Gelato Granucci's brilliant flavor designers combine only the finest quality ingredients to make unique flavors fresh every day. Flavors like Amarena Sour Cherry, Tiramisu, and Joshua Tree Coffee. We have gelato cakes, gelato cannoli, pops, and pints to go. Located on North Palm Canyon in downtown Palm Springs. Gelato Granucci. Come experience the art of gelato. Jose Ramon. Landscape design and maintenance. Call Jose Roman, 760-619-6033. Hello, I'm Carlos King. My passion is designing fabulous homes. I work closely with my clients to achieve the look and feel that matches their vision. My greatest satisfaction is the wow factor when my clients see our finished project. Let me translate your dreams into a visual reality. Call me at 760-880-9987. Dr. Joe Sugar is going to tell us how to live a longer, healthier life. Restore Health is a personalized health service that will help you get back to living better. We work closely with you to create a lifestyle plan that best suits your goals and needs through better nutrition, exercise, sleep, and other factors. So, when you choose to restore your health, give us a call. What I did is I got some of the butter lettuce. Oh, and then to wrap it in. Washed it really good, uh -huh. and then you take all the different leaves, and then you can use that to put the fillings in. Oh, that's such a great idea, especially if you're trying to go a little more low carb, mm -hmm. add more greens into your diet, that's a great way to do that. Yeah, so. There we go. Just choose the best ones. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that ought to work. The other ones you can give to your rabbit. Yeah, the other. <laughs> if you have one. If you have one. <laughs> I don't have one, but. Either, either, either do oh, I. Okay. All right, so the turkey's done. Mm. And so are the, the onions are soft. Mm -hmm. Just kind of crumbled it together. And then I'm gonna add some chopped water chestnuts. This also adds a little crunch into the dish as well. Well, I love working with water chestnut, chestnuts because they actually stay crunchy even when they're warm or mm -hmm. cooked. Yep. That's why they're great in stir fries. All right. So now all we have to do is assemble them. So we'll just take a lettuce cup. Do you want to, should we do it together? Sure. <laughs> Sounds exciting. Okay. Leave room for the other stuff too. Okay. I know it's so I know. Hard. I always start packing everything in there and then next thing I know everything's falling out. And then I'm going to do a little bit of the peppers. A little yellow. Mm. They're kind of sweet and they add a little color too. I like how you cut them like confetti. Like it's a party. I guess so, yeah. And then this dressing with the fresh ginger. A little bit of that on top, not too much or it'll make a mess. Yeah. Green onions. Green onions. Beautiful. Oh, yum, those oh look so good. Goodness. And I love using the lettuce as a shell. Mm -hmm. Such a good idea. We have to have a few. Yeah, we must. <laughs> Do you put cilantro on that too? Oh, you can, yeah. Oh, okay. Just sprinkle a little. I, I like to add cilantro to everything because it actually detoxifies your body. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. I mean, I put it in all kinds of dishes, but okay, go, that's good to know. Yeah. <laughs> Let's taste this. All right, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That's good. Mm -hmm. mm. This is so great because delicious food is not only healthy and nutritious, but it helps us for living better. I'll eat to that. <laughs> Living better thanks Red Jeep Tours by Desert Adventures for bringing closed captioning to the hearing impaired. Thanks everyone for joining us back again today. We're gonna to talk about a little more about balance. Sharon, thank you for being this again uh, today with us. Uh, first balance show that we'll talk about today is more of a functional balance. Um, when I say functional balance is more movement. Sharon, you're gonna have to stick right here. 
I'm gonna have my stick. So at home, please join me. You can grab a broomstick. You can have some kind of an object in your hands. It can even be a water bottle, something you can hold on to. What this helps, as a matter of fact, when we hold an object in our hands, it helps our center of gravity that we stay a little more even when we're trying some of these drills of balance. So the first one today is gonna be is Sharon. I'm gonna demo this real quick. You and I can stand together like this. Join us at home. Please demo with us, very important. So we're gonna tuck, go forward with your right leg. Good, come back up, Sharon, hold. One, two, three, now Sharon, go to the side. Good, join us at home, please, and here we go, and one, two, three, now go back, Sharon, step backwards, and come on up. Please, don't forget, that, don't forget about your posture, core type. Sharon, we're gonna repeat that set five more times. Ready, let's go forward, and good, come on back. Make sure you breathe, one, two, three, now side. Terrific, Sharon, you're doing great. Up again, one, join us at home, two, three, go ahead and go back. Remember, work on your core. Get your shoulders back, breathe, <laughs> smile, have fun. This is great. We're strengthening, Sharon, we're gonna go forward again, one more time, and come on back. One, two, three, and back to the side, terrific. One more time, come on, one, two, three, good, Sharon. Come on back, Sharon, same thing. Let's go ahead and step forward with our left leg. Please join us at home, step forward with your left leg and come back with us, come on up. And one, two, three, I like it. Now go, go to the side, Sharon, same thing. Come on up, one, Sharon, keep your shoulders back, core tight, two, three, good. And back, and come on up one more time, one, two, three. More that we stress this out, Sharon, go forward. More that we stress this out, we're a lot more aware of our movement, where our body is. Go to the side, Sharon. Very important that we know where, where our equilibrium is at all time. That's very important. You don't think that we use it, but we use it all the time. So some of these exercise drills that we're doing right here, put them to use. Use them as, as, as your tool for balance. You know, you use them every day as it is. So please, join us in, make sure we do this. Go ahead and go backwards, Sharon, just like so. And last one, Sharon, one, two, three. Boy, talk about great balance. You go, Sharon, nice job, terrific. Specifically, what does this help? Oh, you know what, Sharon? You know what, audience, that is a great question. Uh, Sharon, this is gonna help in just overall to know where your equilibrium is, to know where our proprioception is and how aware are we, to also know the awareness of our body. Every time that we do something, we need to be aware where our body is. Even like, for example, why you brought that up? Stepping on the curb. Hey, that's very important. Stepping, on the, uh, stepping, down, uh, stepping down the step, that's very important. More awareness that we're able to cover and wider our base support is, better we're able to assess balance. Our next actual drill that we're gonna do is, sure, you can have your feet together just like so, perfect. And all we can do is simply get our left leg up just like so. Good, get your left leg up. Good, now Sharon with that left leg, step forward and get your right leg up. Good, now step backwards with your right leg. Please join us on this right here. What we're doing is we're just weight shifting. Now go ahead and with the left, back and forth here. This is a great drill to get your ankles active, to get your, sh uh, to get your posture up in the right position, to get your core to, to, to acclimate as well. Very important right here. Good, Sharon, we've got 10 more seconds to do here, Sharon, so keep going. I'm gonna watch Sharon as she does this right here. Make sure at home your shoulders are back. Make sure you're breathing. Do not hold your breath. Very important that we breathe all the time. We get a, get a, we get a better blood flow, more oxygen, more energy we'll have. That's very important. You got five seconds left here, Sharon. She's doing a fantastic job. Terrific, one last one, and stop. Whew, Sharon, how different was that from doing one, two, and three to just being singly going forward and back. Was it a little different? Was it easy? Was it harder? Um, I think that was easier going forward and back than to the side. And you know what, Sharon? You are absolutely right. Hi, I'm Jan, and welcome to Kitchen Kitchen. When you first walk in, you're going to notice the wonderful aroma of our gourmet coffees. Peruse the well-stocked shelves filled with those unique and hard-to-find items, and check out our wide selection of bakeware, barware, and barbecue, as well as our full line of quality cookware, cutlery, and gadgets galore. We also offer knife and scissor sharpening, so you can shop while we sharpen. Need a gift? We have it for everyone on your list, and even offer beautiful complimentary gift wrap. Follow me into the kitchen, where we hold the cooking classes and private events. You may even catch a demo of our best-selling gadgets, such as the square egg press, the pineapple slicer, the apple peeler, the electric rotato, and my personal favorite, the chopper. Stop by Kitchen Kitchen today. 
Family owned and operated for three generations since 1979. So come on into Kitchen Kitchen. Hope to see you soon. Welcome to Desert Outreach Synagogue, the voice of the valley. A place called home to anyone who needs one. A place of incredible music, community, conversation, and connection. Come join us. You already belong. Bobby Botinas. Mexican and American Grill, coming soon to the river in Rancho Mirage. Lunch, happy hour, dinner, and evening entertainment. Bobby Botinas, coming soon to the river in Rancho Mirage. Hi, Mark Anthony with Reverse Mortgage Work. You like to join thousands of people living better with the all new lower cost reverse or retirement mortgage? We don't have a celebrity spokesman. We're local, licensed, certified professionals. Call to receive your free quote and learn about a retirement mortgage today. The next drill that we're going to do is, since we did a forward to backwards, we're going to go from side to side. I'm going to face Sharon. Hi, Sharon. <laughs> Great. So we're going to, I want you to all just step to your side. Go ahead and step, Sharon. Get your left leg up, and you get your right leg up, Sharon. Hold it. Put your right leg down. <laughs> good. Good. Now step to your side again for us slowly. Let's not go too far. And one, two, three. Now go back to the other way. So basically what we're doing is we're, we're doing more of a, a, a lateral shift here for the balance. Sharon, step to your right again. Step to our right. Good. And come on up, which would be my left. Good. Sharon, let's go back again. Again, we're trying to make sure that we activate the body in every single plane possible. You see, Sharon, as great as balance as she has, this is still challenging, but we want that. That's what we want. We want to thrive off this. And all the way through, good, and stop. Whew, Sharon, how was that? Easy, hard, moderate, how would you describe that? Different? Well, it's different. It's different to do it that way. Was it, was it harder than the one that we went forward and backwards? Yes. The next thing that we're gonna work on is stepping over tissue box. Very important, learning how to pick up your feet. One of the most important, Sharon, go ahead and stand on right, right on that side right there of the tissue box with both feet, like I am on this side. Come to the other side over here with me. Perfect. So Sharon, get very close to that tissue box. Get your shoulders back. Sharon, apply your hands across your body. We're going to go over this tissue box, Sharon and I, and practice getting those feet up and off the floor. Sharon, let's go up with our left, and then hold with your right for three seconds. One, and two, and three. Put your foot down next to your left. Get close to the box. Again, let's go ahead and over with the shoe. That's right. And come on up. So important to get these hip flexors, we call these. Activated, perfect, and down, Sharon. Let's go repeat this three more times. Over, shoulders back, core tight. Sharon, how is this? Tell me, easy, hard, moderate, talk to me. Well, you have to be aware of where you are. Good, good. Very good. I don't, good. I'm not looking at this, I'm not looking at the box. So, you know, Sharon brought a great point. Sharon, hold it one more time. And let's go over one more time, Sharon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch on, one more time over, Sharon, come on over. Good, and one more time, and, good, and one, and two, and three, and stop. Hey, this is fun. I'm glad you're here. Please join us next week for Better Lifestyle. <laughs>